This is the Wizard News. How the Education Department calculates financial aid threatens to leave some U.S. students with lower subsidy amounts for their secondary schooling in fall 2024. The mistake, according to the Washington Post, stems from the department's apparent failure to update a key part of its aid calculation index for inflation. Which has surged by some 20 percent since the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic. At issue is the amount of a family's income that is deemed protected from the overall adjusted gross income calculation. That income amount. Is used to determine how much financial aid a student needs, specifically as it pertains to Pell grants. According to the Education Department, most Pell grant recipients, including those coming from low-income households, receive the maximum grant available. The erroneous. Aid calculation index for inflation in the new FAFSA form does not affect their Pell eligibility unless the inflation adjustment is fixed. A family will be considered to have more resources at its disposal than is actually the case," said Carrie McCarthy, vice president of. Public policy and federal relations at the National Association of Student Financial Aid Administrators. That means less money for students in need, she said. It appears the department initially decided to not address the issue for the 2024-25 academic year. But that it is now considering doing so, as news reports of the error have gained momentum. The department's error is further complicated by the rollout of the new simplified free application for federal student aid (FAFSA) mandated by Congress at the end of 2020. The FAFSA usually becomes available to students and their parents in October, but the new form has been beset by delays. A soft launch of the form finally went online December 31st, 2023, but was not widely accessible until about January 8th. In a statement. To CNBC, the Education Department said one million students had already submitted a FAFSA form, but as it processes the new form, the department has not yet begun forwarding applications to schools. The department is deliberating whether to punt the update of students' aid eligibility calculations for inflation into the next academic year, effectively shortchanging this year's cohort, or take time to perform the update now but shorten the overall window students may have to communicate with their schools of choice. Source: NBC News, January ninth, twenty twenty four.